Welcome back everyone and today it's a very quick video and this video has been requested by uh, Tracy Rancia so this is what you asked for and this is what you're getting Tracy I hope you like it so I start off by using one of these molds uh, they're just cake decorating molds and these ones can't go in the oven that's why I'm using air dry clay and really it's quite simple you just get your clay you uh, roll it out in your hands and then you put it into the mold and into the mold and press it in uh, I like to use a little bit of water just to help soften it and get it get it right in there so that I don't know I'm going to get all that detail that's in the mold I hope that makes sense for you and as you can see I've already done the little round mold that's up the top there on the left hand corner they're all little hearts and I was in the middle of doing it when I real when I remembered I should say not realized when I remembered turn the camera on because Tracy wants to know how to do this so I turned it on halfway through and all you see me doing now is the oh, it's, it's a frame so a word of warning this is very messy your hands get very dirty but I enjoy it so, but if you don't like getting your hands dirty, you wouldn't attempt this. But the, I don't know, the end result is really worth it. And all I'm doing now is just wetting a bit of water over it just to smooth it because I know that I want it to lie flat on my on my layout. So if I just put a little bit of water and smooth it down, it just gives me a, smooth, a smoother back surface. Does that make sense? Anyway, let me know if you know what I'm talking about. And what else is there for me to say? Um, oh, I can't think. So once you've got all your clay into the mold and you're happy, I like to roll it out with this little roller, just swap on a bit of water, that way I know it's nice and smooth and there's no air pockets. Uh, all you do is you put it aside to dry. I like to leave it a couple of days, but it depends on which uh, clay you use. Have any of you talented people made your own little decorations using cake decorating molds? Let me know in the comments if you have, or let me know if you think you might do that in the near future okay so here they are there has been a couple of days as you can see my sleeves have changed so I'm just taking them out of their mold now and there they are these are the little heart ones and they're so I love them I love them I've made quite a few few of these I must admit and now here comes the frame because the frame is so delicate and it's so detailed I am actually being very gentle with it because I was once a little bit too rough and I did break it so but I also think that was also due to the fact that it wasn't quite dry enough so a little bit of patience is needed and here is some close-ups of them and look at that frame I just love it anyway I hope you enjoyed this very short video and it's given you some inspiration for future projects or I don't know let me know what you think but look at those hearts I just absolutely love them they're all different I like that one actually I like them all but the frame is really my favorite and you can see some of the frame there anyway everyone thank you so much it is a very short video this week uh, we've just had a lamb being born and rejected by its mother so I'm not sure when I'm going to get another video up uh, we're in a drought here in Australia and I have to hand breed these little lambs which means every four hours getting up and feeding them because the mums have not enough milk for them and well it's just part and parcel of what we have to live with and yes so hopefully I'll have a video up next week but I'm really not sure I might need to sleep more than anything so here is a quick look at the moulds when they're empty and yes that's what they look like, some plastic silicon. But anyway, thank you so much, till next time, bye!